Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are perfecting page layout once again. We are talking specifically about page breaks, which is uh, rather simple, so hopefully this won't be too big of a video for you. Um, before I actually show you how to correctly put in a page break in Finale, I actually want to show you how to incorrectly put in a page break in Finale, because um, there are some things that you can do that are going to get you something that looks like a page break, but it's not really a page break. First of all, um, I've seen people do this a lot where they're, you know, spacing out their systems and they realize, okay, if I wanted a page break after the fifth system right here, um, what they can do is actually just, you know, keep um, dragging this down. And if you drag it past the bottom page margin, you will in fact be able to get that system to appear on the next page. From here, however, you, what you can't do is then try and put this system uh, up towards the top of the page because as soon as you start dragging it upwards, um, Finale is going to be putting it back on the previous page. The reason for that um, is important, or I guess it's important to understand why Finale is doing that. What you're doing when you're dragging these systems around like this is you're actually changing the distance between systems value here. You can see right now it's set to 3.65. If I drag it down a little bit further, now it's at 4.0, etc. Um, this distance between system value basically applies the distance between each system, but also the distance between the top of the system and the page margin if that system happens to be the first system of the page. So in this case, because this distance between system is 3.74, that is way too big in, to fit this sixth system on this second page right here. So it says, okay, well, if you want that much space, you, you must need it to go on the next page. So then it puts it on the next page. But then when you start dragging it upwards to kind of put it towards the top of the page, you're decreasing that value here to 0.118. And now Finale says, okay, now it's small enough. We can put that system on the previous page. And then it does that. So um, dragging the systems around like that is not the correct way to create a page break. There is sort of another way to do this, um, which I suppose is maybe slightly more correct, which is that you can actually drag down the, um, the bottom margin of the second system here until it's all the way down here so that the distance between the systems is now impossible to overcome here. See, now I have a distance between of 0.24, and because this bottom system margin is so low, this doesn't allow for enough room for this system here to go uh, onto the second page. This is a slightly better way to do it. Again, it's still not ideal in my opinion because, you know, if you actually do this too much, uh, let's say you drag this all the way down here. Oops, not like that. One more time, let me try that. If you actually drag this bottom margin as low as you can possibly get it, uh, even lower than that, you can get into a situation where if you need to respace these staves now, all of a sudden that one will jump up because the system is now so long, it's not fitting even in this space, even though obviously there's plenty of room for that system over here. So that is a slightly better way to do it, but not still not a great way. So now that I've showed you all the wrong ways to do it, let me show you the right way because it's so much easier. Um, select the sixth system in this case, go to the page layout tool, and choose insert page break. And that's all there is to it. And it will fix that exactly the way you need to. See now the, the distance between systems here is still 0.24, which w again would give you plenty of space here, but because this system now has a page break to it, this system will always appear on the top of any given page. And you'll know that there's a page break there because it will add this little page icon. Um, which indicates that there is a page break. So that's really all there is to it. This is the appropriate way to do a page break in Finale. We can delete that page break by selecting the system that has the page break on it and choose delete page break and it goes away and then now that system goes up to the previous page. Again, so you know with the page breaks you don't want to select the last system of the page uh, before you want to select the first system and insert the page break and there you go. There is a slightly quicker way to do this without actually going into the page layout menu. You can actually right click to get the um, uh, insert page break uh, option here. Same thing with the delete page break, just like that, and you're good to go. So uh, that will do the trick as well. Now, once you have a page break, 
um, there's a couple uh, strange things that could happen when you start adding measures. And I'm just going to sort of, sort of show you what happens in a few instances. So now I've got this page break here. And let's say I wanted to uh, add a system here, but I wanted to leave the page break here. This actually poses a little bit of a problem. Um, but there's a few solutions here. Actually, what you can do is take one of these measures on this second system here and press the down arrow as if you're going to throw this these two bars on the next system. But instead of putting these two bars on the next system, because there's a system break there, Finale won't allow you to do that. So it actually creates a new system for you. Now you have two systems uh, with two bars each, which is still not ideal because then you have to figure out like, okay, so now I have to insert measures here and then copy and paste and all this stuff. So it is sort of a bit of a pain. You can kind of do it this way too by, you know, let's say insert measure stack for, and then <laughs> copy and paste these measures over here. Oops, I've got my filter on over here and then move these down to a new system and then delete these bars or clear these bars. So that's sort of one way to do it. It's, it you know, it's not the most ideal way to do it. And again, because you're doing the insert bars function, uh, if you're paying attention to the previous video, uh, you may know that this will screw up the staff spacing as well as uh, the baselines and everything. So that's not necessarily always ideal. The other thing is that if you actually try and insert a system um, before this page breaked system, uh, what Finale is going to do is actually move where the page break is. So now the page break is the new system and everything gets flowed downwards from there. So just be aware that that's what's going on. This will not add the new system on the previous page before the page break, right? Obviously, if you were to do it here, it would go before system five, which is not really ideal. So in the instance where you actually need to add a system here, the best solution I've found is just to delete the page break first. Uh, delete page break, insert staff system, and you can do some of those other things with the plugins that I showed you in the previous video if you want to as well. And then reinsert the page break here. Uh, so there you go. So that's that's kind of, I think, the quicker way to do this. Uh, all right, so just a, a few things going on there. It's just sort of important to understand um, how to make fixes like that. A couple of other, other little oddities. If you were to try and select this measure and think you can press the up arrow to put it on the previous system, uh, not so fast because this will do a strange thing where it will actually create a new system above it of just that measure, um, which is kind of strange if you were to do it here, you'd get two measures here. Um, so that's a little bit of an oddity too. And then I think the last thing to know about this is that if you were to use the delete um, uh, staff systems uh, option here with on a system that has a page break, it will not only delete the system, it will also delete the page break as well. So that's just a, another thing to know about that. And I believe if you actually select all measures and delete, it will also delete the page break as well. Yep, you can see that that is also the case. So, all right, so I think that's literally all you need to know about page breaks. Um, a couple of different ways to do it. Um, you know, very simply just uh, select it from here. And again, these page breaks like the ad systems and all that stuff that I talked about in the previous video, this is um, specific to the layout that you're looking at. So you'll, it's not like you're gonna get a page break in every measure, whatever this is on your parts. Uh, if I go to a uh, parts file here, or a, a larger score file. And you know, you go to their flute two part if you wanted to put a page break here, um, you could certainly do that, but that's not gonna you know, create a page break in any other part. It's just gonna be for that one part. So page breaks um, are specific to the part or score that you are applying it to. All right, and I think that covers everything for page breaks. I think I have one more video, I believe, uh, on the page layout tool, and that's going to be dealing with blank pages. So um, come back for that. All right, once again, I appreciate it. I uh, appreciate you watching, and um, yeah, I will see you soon on the next video.